Her energy and enthusiasm has had our university beaming with success. We now request Dr. Sandhya Pentaredi, ma'am, Executive Director of VIT, to felicitate the event. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here today, uh, especially to see VIT taking on a new avatar. It is indeed a new avatar. Um, so we're going to call it Vital, as uh, VC also pointed out. We couldn't. Um, well, it's uh, online learning, and that's why it is spelled that way. There's another reason. Uh, we wanted something that we could trademark, and VIT O all is something that was available for trademarking, and hence the name came about. Um, in the spirit of all things that we do at VIT, I believe that this initiative will be an excellent one. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right, is it not? Yes. And um, it gives me immense pleasure uh, to see this come finally to fruition, I should say, because uh, 10, 11 years ago, as VC pointed out, we uh, carried on an initiative here to introduce online learning. At that time, I think we were much, much ahead of the curve, even though not globally, but in India, because regulations were not in favor at the time. DEC was a regulating body, and the regulations were all about paper pen style of learning, whereas we were thinking about online learning, web-based learning, virtual learning, and, and uh, et cetera. But then DEC was focused on paper examinations, paper pen learning, and uh, occasional uh, getting together, and so on. So it was very clear to us that at that point in time, it was not the right move to go forward. So we waited, and I think now is a great time uh, to take this initiative forward. Um, you might think what is going to happen to the physical institutes in a few years. I can't really say, but I think that learning happens in many ways. And for a moment, let us consider the youngsters, the teenagers that come to learn to this institution. What do they come here for? And what, do they, what, what value do we want to provide to those, those teenagers or youngsters or undergraduate students who come here? It's beyond the four walls of the classroom, is it not? Is it beyond, it is beyond the education between a faculty and the students. It's the overall learning. It is the overall experience, it's peer learning. It's by sports, by arts, by, by the music, and by dance, and so many other things that they learn. So I still encourage, you know, people have told you that I first took the initiative of online learning, so you, you know how much I believe in online learning. But regardless, I still believe in that experience, learning by experience, you know. Um, the youngsters learn a lot from each other by engaging in various activities. So that's, that is still going to be the case. So I believe that there is still room for brick and mortar style, and that's going to continue. But then there is another segment of the population that wants to learn in later point in their life. So let's say they're executives in a company or they're doing some kind of work, and they realize that there is a gap in learning, or they want to pursue higher education, or they want to augment the, their current skills by, um, by learning a specific something to get a certificate. More than certificate, the knowledge and skill to do their job. So for that, online learning is a great tool. So we, we do offer degrees online, but it's mainly for people who are working already, or it could also be for people who are returning back to the fold, somebody who might have taken a sabbatical, or somebody who went on a leave of absence for health reasons or maternity reasons or whatever, and then they're returning to the fold of education or career, and then they want to get an additional degree or an additional learning. So online education, you know, opens up a world of possibilities for such um, learning opportunities, yes? Um, but the style has to be different. 
It's not the same old distance education that you would have seen decades ago. That's really not it, you know. There was a myth, and maybe it's not even a myth, it's a truth, that is get a degree offline, I mean, basically what I mean is uh, by uh, distance education, easily. You couldn't go to school to get a BCom or BA, just get it very easily through distance education. You don't study too much, you don't write many exams, you just mug up something and write something and then you get your degree easily. That's really not what we're going to do here. It's just the method of learning is going to be different. It is still going to be um, based on hard work, based on intelligence, based on learning by doing, based on immersing yourself into various activities that contribute towards learning. And we all have to put in our best to make it the best program, not only in India, but eventually the best program in the world. Thank you very much.